If you are watching this video, it means you are considering a career in informational technologies, and more precisely, in quality assurance. And you would like to get an idea of how to pursue this career. Well, look no further. In this video, we will go through the basic roadmap to the job offer in QA, from wherever you are right now to a job of your dreams. So, let's meet Natalie. She is in the same position as you are right now. She has friends who work in IT, and she also read online what is the situation in IT industry right now. She heard about those large and fancy big tech companies with over-the-top benefits and bonuses, about how high demand is on the market right now, the ability to work from home, and most important of all, extremely high salaries. So Natalie recalls hearing that QA is one of the best ways to enter IT, and that's where her journey to become a QA engineer begins. The first step on this journey will be to make your own research to understand whether this job is what you actually want to do, or at least possible benefits overcome the drawbacks which exist in any career path you choose. So first, see day-to-day -day activities and assess how this profession matches your life-work balance, how it matches your personality. The worst mistake you can make is force yourself in a job you will hate for years to come. So be realistic about it, not everyone will love this type of work. This also might sound odd, as we established earlier how good paychecks are, but still, understand whether pay range is good for you. If you are okay to work for $25 per hour during year 1, but plan on making 500 k during year 3, chances are you won't see it in this type of work. Additionally, expose yourself to some testing. Sites like Utest allow everyone to participate in open testing of different online products. This will help you to see how you feel yourself doing such activities as you might expect similar activities when you get to do your actual job. If you feel like this checks all of the boxes for you, it means you should continue to step 2, which is find hard skill courses. If you already have at least bachelor's degree at any field, this will be easier for you. However, it is not mandatory. Nowadays, it is not uncommon to see people being employed in QA with high school diploma. However, you must demonstrate expertise in the field. So the question is, where to obtain it? And the answer is simple. Find hard skill courses for QA. Currently, there are hundreds and thousands of them available online and offline. However, not all of them are good. So here are some tips that will help you to choose the right one for you. Lens. Let's face it, if you are promised a job offer in two weeks without you having any prior experience, you are being lied to. Realistic time frame to obtain enough hard skills is at minimum between 3 and 6 months. This heavily depends on how much effort you are going to put during this period as well, but this time range is somewhat common to see. Skill set Different courses provide different sets of skills they will teach you. To choose the one that matches your expectations, you need to research job postings of desired role. For example, look for junior QA engineer job postings in your area and the descriptions of the requirements they have. Find courses that will match most of those skills. Research authors and speakers Different speakers have different abilities on information delivery, as well as different authors of courses will have different reputation. Look for honest reviews from former students to find credible and quality courses for you. While you are going through step 2, or right after it, you should assess your soft skills. 
Modern employers are not looking for hard skills only. A candidate with great hard skills but horrible soft skills will likely get rejected, while a person with lower hard skills but better soft skills will be offered the job. So face yourself for a moment and evaluate how easy it is for people to communicate with you, how kind you are, what are your values as a human being, are you a team player? Think of those questions. I mean. We all would like to think that each of us is a great personality, but we all know how far from truth it is. Thus, if some of your soft skills are falling behind, take a proactive action on it, and you will become both a better person and a better candidate. Once you feel ready with your hard and soft skills, it is time to go to an employment market. See what jobs are open right now, what they offer, and what requirements they have for candidates. I know we've done it on step 1, but this time you are ready to apply for those jobs. Build your resume, include your achievements and set of skills you now obtained, and start submitting it to job postings you like. Recruiters and HR representatives will contact you and invite for interviews, where you are going to demonstrate those skills and how good of a person and a team player you are. This will lead you to the ultimate goal we had at first place your first job offer as a QA engineer. See how Natalie is happy? You will be too. This roadmap is quite brief, but it gives you an overall impression of what the process is. Have it as a high-level view of the steps you should expect to go through would you decide to pursue the goal of becoming a QA engineer. Do not forget to leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel to learn more about quality assurance and employment advices.